In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Peace be with you. Good morning and welcome once again. We begin as always, we place ourselves in God's loving hands, aware of our need for his love and his forgiveness in our lives. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, author of our freedom and of our salvation, listen to the voice of your pleading and grant that those you have redeemed by the shedding of your Son's blood may have life through you and under your protection rejoice forever unharmed. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him, they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. And we ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers, he has brought to fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus, as it is written in the second psalm, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him with trembling rejoice. You are my son, this day I have begotten. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. 
In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. And Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Jesus spoke those words to his disciples centuries ago, and he speaks them to each one of us today. When so many of us are troubled, whether it's a serious illness, a loss of a job, or depression, family issues, or the loss of a loved one, and the uncertainty of the current pandemic only adds to these. Jesus is certainly aware of all of the, all the things that trouble us. And he says to us, you have faith in God, have faith also in me. It's in troubled times that we need to have greater trust in Jesus and believe, believe that he will never ever abandon us even when we don't sense his presence in our lives. So let us pray often for ourselves and for all those who are troubled, that we may be open to a deeper trust in God. During these troubled times in our lives, may we hear the gentle, reassuring words of a loving Jesus. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me.
mindful of our needs and respond to all of our concerns. Open our hearts to you to offer you our love and our service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your product, protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, Overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, 
he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, all the clergy and faithful. Remember also all of our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We pray in a special way for William Francis King. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostle, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us to judgment and con 
condemnation. But through your loving mercy be for us protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Join together now in our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and keep you in his care, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.